Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Spellbinder's brand new Joyful Christmas Collection. This was designed by Simon Hurley. There are lots of fun hot foil plates, and there's also some stamp sets as well. I selected three of the new hot foil plates to play with. I will have links provided in the description box for the entire collection if you want to check it out. I have the retro ornaments, so there's the hot foil plate and also the coordinating dies. I also have the joyful Christmas sentiments. It includes happy holidays, deck the halls, merry Christmas, joy to the world, and season's greetings. And there is a coordinating die, and I love that it'll cut out all five at the same time. And then for a background, I selected the beautiful Geo Snowflakes hot foil plate, and this is just gorgeous. Let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. I'll be using some beautiful teal glimmer foil. My glimmer machine is on and the plate is ready to go. I'll add the piece of foil on top of the hot foil plate, putting it with the teal side down. Then I'll add a piece of cardstock. Then I'll put the two adapter plates on top, remove that whole segment and run it through my die cut machine. And here's where the magic happens when you pull away that foil and you can see the beautiful results left over on your cardstock. So now I'll do the ornaments, this time using some pretty pink glimmer foil. I've always liked the look of pink and teal together and the pack of glimmer foil I'm using includes teal, pink, and also some silver holographic. So now here's the fun part, the reveal. Just pull away that extra piece of foil and you can see that beautiful pink shine. And I know it is a little bit harder to see in the video since my overhead lights reflect against that pretty shine. Instead of having just that white cardstock for the background with the pretty teal, I thought I would add a little bit of teal ink color on top. I'm using the Fiesta Blue ink color from Catherine Pooler adding a very light coat around the outside edge. And the cardstock I'm using is the Yupo Heavyweight. It's a super smooth cardstock and it works great for hot foiling. And it also works great for ink blending since it is so smooth. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and layer this panel on some black cardstock. Then I'll add my card front onto a card base. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Next, I'll add this fun window die cut piece, and this is from Spellbinder's Fall Label Motif Set. Adhere it down using some liquid adhesive. And by having that black window, it'll help my ornaments really pop against that background. I did put some foam dimension on the back of the ornaments, and this dimension is new from Spellbinders. It's a white foam squares mix, one millimeter in thickness, so it's nice and thin. And they also have the same foam, but in black. And I did use the coordinating die to cut out the ornaments. I'll remove the release paper and adhere my ornaments on the left side of the card. I'll add the sentiment, joy to the world, and I did the hot foiling off screen. I used the black glimmer foil for it, and I cut it out using the coordinating die. I did put some foam dimension on the back of the sentiment. I'll remove the release paper and adhere it between the two ornaments. For a little extra detail on the ornament, I decided to add a couple of pink poinsettia flowers, and these are from Spellbinder's Holiday Blooms die set. I cut out two pieces of the smaller petals from the flower and I'll layer them together using some liquid adhesive. I'll put some foam dimension on the back and adhere them to the left at the top of the ornament. And instead of using the coordinating dies for the very center of the poinsettia, I decided to use some of Spellbinder's gem stickers. This is the opal color. There are four sizes of gem stickers included on this sheet, and I always end up with a bunch of the teeny tiny ones, but they're perfect for the center of the flower. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. I really like how this turned out. The pink and teal look so pretty together, and sometimes it's fun to use non-traditional holiday colors. For card design number two, I have a piece of white shimmer cardstock I'll be using for the background. 
but this time I'll use the same hot foil plate to emboss the background. To get that perfect sandwich, I'm using Spellbinder's Universal Plate System. There's lots of different layers, and on some of the pieces, it already has the directions to get that perfect sandwich. The hot foil plate dies are a little bit thicker than a traditional die, but I did figure out a good sandwich to get that nice embossed look. So I have A, which is the platform base, B, which is the platform top, then I added the die, the cardstock. Next is E, which is a flexible silicone piece. Then C, which is the acrylic plate. And then on the very top, just because I felt it needed a little bit extra, I added F, which is just a very thin shim. Once I have that piece embossed, I'll do some ink smushing using some gold metallic ink. I put a little bit of ink on my mini stencil mat, sprayed some water on it, then just took that embossed panel and pressed it right into the watery ink. Now I'll set that aside to let it dry. I'll be adding the ornament images to my card. I use this beautiful red glittery glimmer foil and this is from Spellbinder's Christmas Sparkle Variety Pack, which is one of their new releases. I use the coordinating die to cut that out. Then to adhere it in place, I'll use some liquid adhesive. And since I am adhering that onto a shimmery cardstock and also a little bit of that metallic ink, I did put my acrylic block on top for some added weight while I let the glue adhere. I'll add the sentiment Merry Christmas. And I did pop this up using some foam dimension. I'll adhere that in the lower right hand corner. Then to finish off the card, I'll use some more of the opal gem stickers. Put two in the upper left hand corner and three around the sentiment. And there is adhesive on the back of the gem stickers, but I'm adding a little bit of liquid adhesive as well, since I am adhering it onto a shimmer cardstock. So there is my finished card. And again, I did make two using this design. Overall, it's a very clean and simple design, but I love the beautiful sparkle from the red glimmer foil. Now here's another look at the four cards I made using Spellbinder's brand new Joyful Christmas collection. It's a gorgeous collection that was designed by Simon Hurley. It includes glimmer plates and also some beautiful stamps and coordinating dies. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. And here's a quick look at the three different glimmer foil packs I used on my cards in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.